Hey yo everybody, it's Synchros here and welcome back to another episode of Park Spotlight and in today's episode we're going to be taking a look at a pretty awesome theme park, so stay tuned and let's dive on in. Alright everyone, welcome back and for those that are new here, be sure to subscribe for more awesome Planet Coaster content in the works and we also have Planet Zoo dropping right away here in November, so we're all pretty stoked about that. Pretty much the same game as far as artistic capabilities go. No roller coasters obviously, but there will be tons of new stuff coming out on the channel, so don't want to miss that. And if you'd like to join our Planet Coaster slash Planet Zoo community, links will be down in the description below. And if you'd like to support the show via Patreon, you can do so. Links for that will be in the description as well that gives you priority spotlight at the beginning of every month and without further ado let's get into this park spotlight we have mito land submitted by one of our discord master builders Ilya, and they say my first planet coaster park mito land one year time of creation over 200,000 pieces two areas lost city and oceanic all right everyone here we are mito land look at this entryway Jesus. This is amazing. Look at that snake. That is so freaking cool. Awesome. I love this. Great entryway plaza here. Oh, I'm on like super fast forward, I think. No? Okay, that water just looks really fast. Okay. Well, let's uh... Guess we'll walk over to the left here. Man, great details. I like this pyramid. Are these? No. Oh my. Okay. This is a custom. <laughs> Jeez, I don't know how long that would have taken you, but that is, uh. Yeah, that's gonna be a lot of pieces. Here's to how many just this is. 1,600 pieces for just the pyramid. Worth it. That looks awesome. Okay, so this is the main park entrance by the looks of it. It was just like the, the pre-entrance. Okay. What do we got here? We got Panorama Wig. Panorama Wig. Lost City World and Lost City Roller. So I think we're going to go left and we'll end off over in the Lost City by the end of it. Look at that shark. I want to go over there right now. Oh man, look at this view. Oh wow. Oh, looks like we got a uh, inverted, uh, inverted coaster over there. I really enjoy riding those, that's exciting. Oceanic. Let's check out in here I guess, yeah? Sure. Boom tiki tiki boom boom tiki. Freaking awesome. I love this. I think we should check out in here. This is super cool. It's like you're under underwater in here. This looks awesome. Oh, the theming is just insane. Hey, these look familiar. I'm not gonna spoil as to how I know those, but I do. Not from this park, obviously. Oceanic fish. Restaurants. What are these things? Souvenir stands? Definitely. That is a super cool idea. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's a really cool way of doing that. Oh, man. What was it? I'm just... Was that a shark that jumped up over here? Looked like a ride went by out of the corner of the screen, but I think it was a shark. Alright. This. Oh, cool. It's like a staff way to go. I might have to check that out at the end. Awesome. I think someone should do a tally of how many times I say awesome in a video when I'm really enjoying a park. I would actually like to see how many times I say that word. Tentacle. That's a little flat ride. This looks like it just loops around. 
Yep. Good way to do the shop. That looks really good. Yeah, I don't know, the theming in here is just awesome. It's kind of pirate adventure style in here. Looks really good. Just the amount of detail you put into theming even your flat rides, a lot of people don't do it. So cheers to you for doing that extra little bit. It really uh, adds to the park experience. Sinking Valley. Let's go check this out, I guess. Uh, we should probably walk under the waterfall, hey? Yeah? Oh, that's right. Water disappears when you're really close to it. This looks like just kind of a little walk around area. Okay, some sunken houses and stuff in here. That's cool. Like these little one-off theme spots. They don't really have a purpose other than to look cool. All right, onward ho. Looks like we got a river rapids. Hope I didn't walk past the entrance to that. Oh, what's up here? Through the queue we go. I have no idea what's at the end of this queue. Ooh, I like the walls in here. Uh, what? Oh, I see. Down this way. Oh, River Rapids, perfect. All right, so I guess we're gonna be riding that first. We're gonna hop on this car. I think I'm gonna do it in... We're gonna do seat view for the River Rapids. I know you don't really get to see everything, but a lot of people have been asking for that. So we have Shark Flume, a rolling River Rapids with a 4.21 excitement, a 3.10 fear, and a 2.01 nausea. There's a look at the rest of the results.
All right, that is the end of that. Awesome river rapids, really like that one. Uh, I think it dragged on a little bit too long though, in my uh, honest opinion. I think when you came out of the shark here, I think having it wrap around and up to the entrance or something from this first bit would have been good. Felt like this last little bit was just dragging on a little bit too long for me. Or maybe if there was some more hills in there or at least one more climb up and another drop, that would have been good too, just to justify the length a little better. But I went overall really good. I like how it went into the shark there. And yeah, great theming on it. Okay, let's uh, continue around the park. That thing's super cool. Sinking Village. I guess we'll go check this out. See what this is all about. Ooh, I like it in here. I don't know what we're actually coming at here. What is this? Oh, Cascade. Sweet. All right, so we have Sinking Village, a water coaster cascade with a 3.65 excitement, a 1.96 fear, and a 1.51 nausea. There's a look at the rest of the results.
Super creepy. I got a couple of things to say about this. So I guess we'll start with... Not that there's bad things, but they definitely have some feedback. But we'll start off with the good things. The atmosphere in here is incredible. Going through this swamp area, you got stuff submerged in the water. Like, it just looks fantastic. I really, really enjoyed that. So, I guess we'll touch on this first bit of feedback. I'm not too sure what this extra little bit was about. This looked like a block section or something like that. Or was these just breaks? Yeah, okay, so block section here. So, I don't really think that's necessary with the Cascade Coaster. You can pretty much have as many cars as your station can hold. Plus, and then some, I think. And it just caps you out depending on how much straight track you have behind the station. And this also, I think the height of your roller coaster for the rest of it is good. But I think the height of this lift hill is just way too tall because you carry way too much speed coming into this drop here into the uh, into the water. The lift hills, or I mean the airtime hills are just very uh, jerky. So I think shrinking this down to even, maybe even here. And just having it turn and go straight into that would have been a much better way of doing it. It would have been a lot smoother and less jerky. Especially this last one here. That one, it like slams you over this airtime hill and into the pool of water. I know that you're kind of stuck with this set pieces here. There's not really a good way to make them smooth. It's always found going into water points with these coasters uh, to be doing it a little bit slower once you've lost some speed on the actual uh, coaster track itself. And I actually like the way you had to spread this out. So you start off with a bit of spooky swamp. You go over there, some intense roller coaster, and splash back into a spooky swamp. Then I think what would have been really nice to have done is after you're done with this part of the spooky swamp. Where is it? Here. Oh, I lost it. Yeah, okay, so you go up this really long dragging lift hill. And then you come down just to go into more water again. I think having this a little bit more aggressive of a... Of an incline and just having a little bit more intense it doesn't have to be much higher but just have some more intense coaster going in and out through here maybe weaving back and forth and then dropping into the water at the very end oh yeah okay so it comes by right here so yeah i think having another just roller coaster portion almost right up until the boarding station would have been a good way to finish off this one because i think you had plenty of water spots but i mean overall the setting of this was incredible i ended up riding this at nighttime. I started riding at daytime and then I seen the ghouls and stuff pop out. I'm like, oh, we should probably ride this at night. So that's what I ended up doing. And I'm glad we did because it looks awesome at night, especially from the rider's perspective. So good job here, Ilya. That was a really solid kind of dark roller coaster ride. Really enjoyed that. All right, well, I might just leave it at nighttime here. The park seems to be running pretty good. So for 200,000 pieces, I am quite impressed with how this park is running. There's 500 guests here. So I don't know, the last one I did, that had a lot of stuff. I think it was half lows and it just destroyed my computer. And it's kind of the same idea as this. Everything's custom built with all these hand pieces like that pyramid we've seen at the beginning. That's all single pieces and tiny ones at that. So that's where the piece count goes to the roof, right? But this park seems to be running really, really well. And it looks a lot, uh, it looks very, very detailed and it's running great. So I'm happy with that. So I guess we are, did that loop around? Sorry, I'm kind of hopping around here, guys, but uh just want to make sure I'm not getting too lost. I don't spoil off that other area. Okay, so it looks like I got to go back from where we came from, back through the River Rapids area here. Would have been nice to have this uh, attach around. Yeah, I don't see it attaching around anywhere, so it just kind of hits a dead end, then you're stuck walking instead of having this nice consecutive loop. But looking at the rest of your park layout, I kind of understand why you had done that. So we're gonna zip back here. Gonna peek around at night. Lockjaw. Gulpy. Get in your own section, Gulpy. You don't belong over here. I guess you kind of work in the pirate section. I really want to check out that tunnel. You know, it's like a theme park. Or it's like at anything where you have like this area that kind of looks cool to go in, but you're not allowed. That's why I want to go down there. Ooh, I'm glad we came back and actually got to see this at night. Awesome. All right, so we will continue on left. Like a cathedral looking thing, that's cool. Awesome. Oh, there we go. There's the fire. 
Oh yeah, that wasn't too bad. Auto save. Ooh, look at this. Jeez. Okay, I think I'm gonna switch it back to daytime because these kinda I don't know, it looks very tropical and I love seeing tropical stuff at day. There we go. Yeah, that looks freaking great. I don't know what kind of section this is. It's like an overgrown city. That looks awesome. Oh yeah, look at this. Wow. Yeah, I can definitely see how your piece count got so high. It's custom roof arches there. That looks awesome. Good job. Okay. Let's continue on. I love it down here. I freaking love it. Oh, I think we found out where that other pathway goes. Okay, I might peek in the back here. Am I allowed to be back here? Is there anything back here? What's this? Staff area? Okay, nothing back here. Oh, I'm excited for that roller coaster. Okay. Is that the only roller coaster? I haven't seen any other ones. I'll have to make sure and do a double look. But yeah, this is the only one I've seen so far. Whoa! Whoa! Jeez! What? Was the planet coaster crowns? How many pieces is that? Seven thousand eight hundred and fifteen pieces just for this ride skin. That is crazy, but oh, that looks good. Well, you have it broken apart in here. That looks freaking incredible. Awesome job with this. I don't really know what this is supposed to be. Nertakna. Nertakna. Sure. Yeah, I don't, I'm not too sure what this is supposed to be. It's kind of like a Mayan technology technological thing I don't know ancient aliens <laughs> we'll go with that oh, I love it down here okay we're gonna hang on or head on down to the left here some more that's that ride okay that's the roller coaster is that the end and that looks like that's coming into the station, I think. Oh no, that might be leaving. We went up the exit. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of that, because I just went around the wrong way here. We're gonna find the queue. Wait, what? I feel like we just did this. Oh man, I'm so confused. How do we get to the entrance of this thing? Maybe we gotta go down and around? Oh, right here, durr. Okay. This is a cool queue. My driving skills are awful, especially when I'm doing a curved stairwell. Alright, ah, we just missed a train. Oh well. Catch the next one. So we have Lost City Coaster, an inverted four-seat arrival with a 4.56 excitement, a 3.45 fear, and a 1.40 nausea. There's a look at the rest of the results, and let's wait for the next train, and let's ride it.
coaster's got some awesome elements to it i want to go and check it out where is it? it's the very first drop here we're just gonna cheat and go find it this view when you're coming down is a great way to start this ride off i when i did it in daytime like oh, i gotta see that at nighttime too freaking awesome your architecture is just amazing like i can't get over it uh, the roller coaster itself, it, it, while it's got tons of awesome elements to it, especially this part right here where it dives down into the tower, uh, it definitely still needs a lot of smoothing on a lot of areas. Um, yeah, a few of your transitions were a little rough. I can't remember where it was. It might have been, is it right here? I don't know, there was like a super tight helix. It was kind of near the beginning of the ride. I wonder if this was it. Yeah, this was it. So you come around this corner and then right here, like, cause you're like, I know it's like G forces aren't like a huge deal cause it is a game, but when you're coming around, you're being pushed to the left side of the track and then you kind of start to bring it back and then you're like, nope, reverse barrel roll <laughs> against the direction you just came from. So things like that, they just feel a little bit unnatural if you're not careful about the way you're doing it, especially if it's kind of not smooth. So one uh, good method I like to use is depending on what size of track you use. I basically, I grab three lengths of track. I don't know if you've heard of the four meter method. Same as that, except I use three lengths of eight meter track. So I'm, I'm sure it works with whatever length, but I grab three, I hit smooth, drag it to the next section and drag this one to the next one. And I pretty much just do three at a time and I iron out the entire roller coaster once or twice, along with the regular smoothing that you would normally do just to make sure those transitions are all dragged into themselves. So everything is silky smooth. Then you're not stuck with like these weird parts where the track kind of stops transitioning and then transitions drastically. So you kind of come around the corner here, you get nothing and then bam, right? So having it have a nice smooth transition all the way in, I think would have done a, a lot more for this roller coaster. But overall, like the track design itself, like the way you have it wrapping around is really good. Uh, yeah, uh, it was. it's tons of fun. Yeah, it just needs a little bit of smoothing and obviously you're your setting for it is just freaking impeccable. I can't say that enough. I'm trying to not use the word awesome anymore for this video because I've said it way too many times, but you know what, screw it. This is just freaking awesome down here. Uh, I think we'll peek around a little bit more nighttime so we can see a little bit down here. So this was the way we came around to get on, but I think it kind of continues to wrap around here. At least I think it does. We're gonna come down here and check it out. Kinda hope this comes to a dead end because yeah, it does. It's good because there was a way that we could have went left and that's lo looking like somewhere I wanted to go. Ooh, I like that. Was oh, there a train ride? I wonder if there is. We'll uh, finish off the video with the train ride, I think. Oh, well, we'll uh, cheat and go peek, uh, peek over here real quick. Oh, man, I really love the waterfalls and nature work you have going through here. back here some guys getting destroyed by this spider <laughs> awesome I like those little Easter eggs just stuffed away in the back corner for no one to see I'm actually pretty happy I found that all right so anything else back here doesn't really look like it oh yeah that's totally a train track all right so we're gonna continue on around we're gonna try and track track down this train station Looks like a flat ride. Okay, so we're back around. I didn't see a train station at all. Okay, we're gonna click on it. If I can.
Aww. It's just there for the decoration. I was excited to ride a train. Sorry. Well, I guess that's it for this episode. Bye now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to switch it back to daytime here real quick. I don't know what just happened there. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know. Final thoughts about this park. The freaking architecture is just amazing. I really like the theming you have up here. It's sort of got like a pirate adventure sort of fantasy like thing going on. I don't know. It's just super cool and kind of unique in its own way. And same with your uh, adventure adventure area. It's sort of like an overgrown ruins Mayan cathedral. I don't know. It's, it's cool. And you get like sea cans all up in here. So it doesn't really have a coherent theme, but it does at the same time. So it's all got the overgrown stuff happening to it because you kind of got like temple ruins over here and then modern more modern 18th century ruins over here yeah i don't know <laughs> but either way i love it nothing nothing bad to say about this area down here i i'm in love with this and the buildings i'm sure took a freaking long time because these are all hand built piece by piece for the most part really awesome job there Ilya. okay well we're gonna I guess finish off we just did this walk but we're gonna do it again do a little overlook love it really too bad about that train ride i shouldn't have gotten myself excited oh well that'd be like the worst job ever walking around in that ball thing you'd be bumping into everybody i would just own it Alrighty, everyone well i guess that about wraps it up so if you are new here be sure to subscribe we have lots of planet coaster in the work as well as planet zoo hopefully we'll get you getting some spotlights for that for you guys out right away and if you'd like to join our discord community links will be in the description below and if you'd like to support the show via patreon you can do so also with links in the description you get access to priority spotlight at the beginning of each month so pretty awesome little perk there for doing that and if you like this video be sure to smash that like button really good job today here Ilya. this is an awesome park and we just finished a recording for one of your other creations i'm not gonna spoil it but i obviously kind of did earlier by uh, saying i recognized your little sweeper trucks so be on the lookout for that i think it's due to come out after this one so pretty excited to be showing off a couple of your creations here you do really good work so everyone be sure to keep an eye out for some more of Ilya's creations. And again, great job today here. We will see you all in the next one. Bye now.